I suppose looking from the outside, Dennis, people looking at witness now, they're running on and the fact that they've got all the injuries and no one really many you back and saying, where's the next win coming from? I suppose on the inside, you can't really think of it that way. We can't. No, we had a big chat this week about just staying positive and putting ourselves in the right frame of mind. It's no good feeling sorry for ourselves. Like you said, you can feel a bit down and that, that's the job of the coaches is to keep trying to motivate the players to get them moving in the right direction. And everybody can see it. We've got a group of players that are they're feeling a bit of pressure and nobody's playing that well. Nobody's playing exceptionally badly, but nobody's actually hitting any kind of form. And it's a bizarre situation that I'm in with the team and trying to find a way through that because even when we've had some, like last, especially the last two or three years, we've lost games, or we've lost games by a score, defensively we've been sound, we've had some players that have been playing well and sort of keeping everybody else's standards a little bit higher. At the moment, I can't look through the team and say that I think that anybody's actually performing at their standards. Mm -hmm. And that's, we have to look back through our training and see where we are. I think the pressure's playing a big part. The tight, the draw, the tight win, the tight loss, sorry, against Wigan, and the first game of the year when we just felt like we let ourselves down. Like I said, it's just patches that are really starting to build on us. And the job of the coaches and the job of myself is making sure our training's got some quality in it, making sure the intensity stays there and then go looking for that win and being positive about it. And I know it's really easy to stand on the outside and punch some numbers into your phones or words into your phone and send them off by it, but it is how it is at the moment and it's we've got some injuries, I say, and it's one of those tough ones where you don't want to make excuses because I believe I've picked 17 blokes every week with the ability and the right kind of attitude to go out and, and do a good job. And I felt that on a couple of those games, I felt that like we were in the fight up until a certain point. Like I say, it just seems to have got less and less. And on the weekend, it was a 15 minute spell. And we never really looked like we were in control, but we didn't look like we weren't in control, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I say, we get over the try line a couple of times, once in the corner, and once with JJ in that, in that spell before they score. And we're just not able to build or convert any points to get some pressure going our way. So Salford played some good stuff, obviously, but um, I think you'll have been disappointed with perhaps a, a couple of those tries which came from, from weak contacts near the line. Yeah, the first two or three again, it was <laughs> the, the try in the corner here and the try underneath the posts and the, the, like the first 18 points again, they were just individual um, errors or individuals that just didn't really have enough determination to prevent somebody scoring the points. It wasn't a fault in any anybody around them, nobody not helping them hit the stick and keep all the bloke. And yeah, and <laughs> we'd probably prevent a couple of those tries. And our Salford, at the moment, they're playing, they're playing well. They've got a real good spine in their team that's played there uh, all through the pre-season and all at um, the start of the season with O'Brien, Dobson, Lou and Tompkins, so they've been pretty solid in that department and all of the players have jumped on the back of it. And then they're a decent side and they always they were last year and they were the year before and they just kept building on that and stayed healthy. But at the, mo at the moment, yeah, we're, we're jumping all over the place. We've got no consistency in our selection because of injury. And no consistency in selection because of lack of form. And it's, it's been able to tough those hard days out, get on the training field and keep working hard. Saying that the lads are in all week. It's not like we're not working hard at it. It's just we're looking for that one trigger to get that feeling going in the right direction. In a few of the games, I think maybe the last three, if I'm, if I'm getting them in the right order, you've actually come out of the blocks looking like a team that, that means business, but not capitalised enough when you've had the, the ball at their end. And, and when that happens, I'm getting the impression the conference is going, oh, here we go again with the lads a bit like that. I think it's the frustration is coming on the ball. Like our penalty count is too high, but that's built on frustration as well. Like I said, the, the, some of the penalties are, are really sloppy. It's just it's somebody jumping the line and trying to make a big play to inspire the team and getting his technique all wrong. It's forcing something on the floor after losing a contact from somebody else. But we're giving penalties away in the opposition's 20 and 30, and so it's, we're never having the ability to get the ball back. We're doing well for one, two, and three tackles, giving a penalty away, end up back in our half, and then having to work ourselves out of it. And I think, like you said, we came, we come in with a plan, we come in with an idea of where we want to start really well, and then sort of things just 
triple away, it was a couple of penalties again. We don't score when we get over the line. And that erodes our confidence a little bit as well. So it's working on how to pull those blocks back, reset ourselves while we're in the game, and then move on and not let the past affect us. I know that psychology speaking, all that kind of stuff, but that's that's a tough thing to do. I know it sounds really easy when you look at it, don't worry about what they've done, not done, don't worry about what happened last week. Like the, the, the strong mindset to reset ourselves is something that we're working pretty hard on. And I, everybody can see there are patches of this team that look, I don't look great, but they look solid, they look good, we defend okay at times, we attack really well, we get over the tie line, we aren't converting those opportunities to points, we're just that little bit short on our confidence and that pass. We're not just getting there, we're getting there a second late because we're just second guessing ourselves and then we're making poor decisions without the ball. And all that thing tied in comes through our reviews, comes through our training and, and keep working hard. And I think that's, there's no magic dust, it's about getting on the field. Let's get that on, get dirty and get back to work and go looking for that win. Uh, I've watched Lee a few times this season and they've got a number of things going for them but in particular they're playing with such a lot of enthusiasm and physicality aren't they? They look like a, a bunch of lads were really keen. Yeah, they've come in this season with like everybody thinks that we're not going to do do well. Nobody's given us a chance and that's sort of freed them up and the quality that's in their side is, is vast. It's like you say, you look at the ex-internationals that are running through that team. Like I say, they're all mature, they're all experienced, the fact they're enjoying their rugby, they're very physical, like I said, they're a different animal at home than they are away. Like I said, the record speaks for itself, no matter in the Championship or in the Super League at home, they don't lose many. They didn't lose many in Challenge Cup games even when they weren't playing Super League opposition when they were in the Championship. So it's it's a tough place to go and it's, and it's an exciting challenge that we've tried to sell to the lads that this is a big day for us. They're going to come out and they're going to go after us. They think we're weak. They think that mentally we're not on the ball. We've got to go out there and prove them, prove them different. Uh, you mentioned ex-internationals and, and uh, one of those is Gareth Hocker. Of course, you know well, he was here at Witness and uh, I think I've read in the paper that he, he fancies a crack at the World Cup, given half a chance. Um, he looks like he's uh, hit back to near his best he's form. Back, he? like I said, the thing with Gareth is, like I said, if he's happy off the field and he enjoys the people he's working with, then he puts in he puts in. You know, I don't think he's changed the way he plays. He's, he carries the ball like he wants to, to, win, to win that collision, no matter what. He hits you as if he wants to hurt you. He's got a great pass in him, he's got an offload, and he's playing really well. I think Danny Tickle's playing well. I think Mickey Hyam's playing really well. I mean, and then like Attila Vey and Harrison Hansen, they're all, like I say, they're all Super League players that are actually playing pretty well at the moment. So the physicality through their team is a, is a big challenge for us to start with. Personally, you've got a few younger lads in the pack at the moment with your, 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 the problems that you've got and uh, coming up against a Gareth Hot must be a fairly daunting prospect. Yeah, they, they, they always say that it should, should be exciting. They're the challenges you want. As a player, you want to test yourself. Mm -hmm. and at the moment, we need to find a way of testing ourselves and coming out on the top. And if we can test ourselves this weekend and physically come out on the other side of it, then it'll be a big boost for us. Uh, what about injuries, Dennis? Are we, have we uh, have witnessed any more? We're not far off again now. Like I say, we're running to the Easter period and um, we're getting more bodies back on the feet training now. And like I say, it's, I'm hopeful that Tom's a couple of weeks off, Tom Gilmore, um, he's back in training now. So he's, he's hopefully going to be ready next week into full training. Joey's about the same. So Joey could be a week later, could have been into Easter. Chris Dean's a week later going into Easter, going into the Warrington game. Manasse, Manasse's got a chance possibly this week, depending on how he runs up this week. Again, all these lads are starting. This is the, they're starting to hit the end of their their, their rehab, mm -hmm. and it's it's now it's about putting them in full training, so they get to a point where yeah they've had some protocols to get through to say that they're ready to play. And then you check them in with the team, and then you see if the contact element goes up and the different kind of training. It's applied to them. Well, like, we won't put anybody in that's not ready to play. Because we don't, and they're not the answer to our problems at the moment. Like I said, there's a lot more issues that we need to solve. And, and expecting Tom and Joe, who've not played for 16 and 12 weeks, 
to come in and answer all our problems and Christine to come in and give us a little bit more punch and Manassi to give us a bit more strength. I say at the moment, like I said, we lost Lloyd for three weeks on the weekend. He'll be ready for hopefully for Warrington and he's been one of our better performers. Pat Avan's probably another couple of weeks off as well, so he's looking about Easter. So we should have plenty of bodies coming back into the Easter period, but there are also bodies that a majority of them haven't played for three months. They haven't played all year. Like I say, it's nice to have them back in the in the mix and then adding to a little bit of competition in our in our training. But they're not the answer to our problems. Like I say there's a lot more in this group and we need to get the players that are actually playing performing better mm -hmm. and a little bit more confident in themselves and then that confidence travels into everybody else and the consistency to be able to get a win has to come from the group itself that's already out there. We can't expect Joel, Keely, um, Lloyd to come back in and Christine and Manasseh and Alex Gerard and Emil um, Carroll and <laughs> those, guys, those lads to come back in and give us the win that we're after, after they've not played for so long. How did um, Hedermeyer and Johnston strip up this week after the head knocks? Dennis, are they well, they're in today with um, um, a neural. They've had, there's a protocol in place, so if you have two concussions within a year, mm -hmm. you have to go and see a neurologist. So they're in today to see a neurologist. They both seem okay, they're in the protocol that's in place, put in place by a medical team and set out by the, set out by the, um, the league. And it's it's pretty stringent, and what they could do yesterday, and what they're not allowed to do until later on in the week, they're making sure that they go and have um, scans today. Mm -hmm. Just, to, but they do in themselves, they both look pretty good, and the eyes are pretty clear. They're not talking talking with uh, any kind of slurred language, so they're, they're the same mm -hmm. eye. Right. Mm -hmm. And Armstrong looked a little bit lame towards the back end of that game. He had food poisoning. Right. Um, just. In the, in the warm-up and pre-game, he was being sick. He said he was going to be okay, but he was, like I say, he suffered quite badly throughout the game. I think, mean, and what you get with Tom is you get energy and you get enthusiasm. Like I say, all of these mistakes around him, you get somebody that is willing. And what you saw on the weekend was was a shadow of what he's been so far. And it, then that's it's not an excuse for Tom. Tom doesn't want to use that as an excuse for poor performance, but. There are reasons why he was performing the way he did. And how he comes through this week, we'll see. Like I say, he's not at his best at the moment because he really took it out of him on the weekend. Um, I know Greg Burke was working his way back to fitness, wasn't he? Is he in the he's, line? Actually, he's, he's in the mix as well. Like So he's back in now in the training and we'll see how he how he comes back through foot injury and a couple of things. So yeah, I forgot to mention Greg. Greg's in that mix as well. So. Yeah, I get, there's that many of them at the moment. I'm not very really sure who's fit and who's not. They're coming into training, dribs and drabs. Burke has been working really hard. Like I say, he just he needed to get himself into a place where he felt like he could actually give something to the team. He was struggling with a foot injury and not being able to train too much. We've hopefully sorted that out and got him back. And for a big man, he needs to run, he needs to train to be able to get on the field and play.